Are we capable of change? Can we really make this world a better place? We are inundated with news of crisis all around us. Global unrest, war, pollution, melting ice caps. Many of these are directly related to one thing, oil. Something that once seemed so incredible has become a thorn in our sides. Not only that, but once you burn it, it's gone forever. But what can we do about it? Where can we go next? When we work to use our natural resources wisely, recycle more, plant more trees, and travel smarter, we leave our world a better place. Aptera is here to help by delivering the world's most efficient electric vehicle. With a 1,000 mile range and solar charging of over 40 miles per day, building a smarter future starts with more. Imagine never having to fuel your vehicle. With Aptera, you can go about your day while your vehicle charges itself up for free. It gets all the power it needs from the sun without ever having to plug in. We call it Never Charge, an integrated solar package providing over 40 free driving miles per day, making the Aptera the first vehicle that won't need to fuel up for most daily driving. It also gets a record-breaking 1,000 miles of range from its battery pack, taking you further than any other electric vehicle. How is this possible? Well, because of our advanced aerodynamics, lightweight parts, and an efficient electric drivetrain, we use less than 100 watt-hours per mile. This means our small solar package can still take you a long, long way. Never charges built into every Aptera, and it can produce enough free solar power to travel over 11,000 miles per year. At Aptera, we're building the world's most efficient transportation. Aptera is for anybody that's looking for a unique solution to their impact on the planet today. If you can lower how much energy it takes you to go the distance you need to go, and if you can use it in a vehicle that's focused on efficiency, that's made with less materials. You're just doing good for the planet and good for your pocketbook and good for everyone else. The user interface really helps people navigate all the controls of the vehicle and it has to be something that's easy to use and something that's intuitive and something that has all the robust features that you would expect in a modern electric vehicle. That effort alone is, is quite challenging and we needed some type of quick way to deploy that in their timeline. So Crank was the solution when it came to the embedded graphical user interface design and implementation of the software. Crank has really helped us streamline the development process by enabling us with tools like Storyboard, which consolidates all the information from the user interface, makes it really easy to change and modify, and really helps speed up the development cycle significantly. It's a multi-platform software solution that it was very agnostic to the hardware that you chose to implement the graphics. On top of that, they have the tool sets that made it very easy to not only design them in, but actually implement it for functionality. What we've created with Crank is something that's really intuitive for the driver, but gives us a lot of extra benefits to show the efficiency of the Aptera. Uh, things like, how do you add range to your trip? 
things like how efficient are you really traveling and navigation tools that would be really hard to implement with anyone else's software solution. Everything you create in the prototype form in Storyboard, you can take to production with you. So the investment that you put into the design, the development, the execution can carry into production. And I think that crossover from the designer to bringing it to functionality was seamless. From a company standpoint, they're just the support that they provided went above and beyond. The people at Crank have been great. They've supported us infinitely, and we've been able to make really great progress on our user interfaces really quickly, far faster than I'd imagine with any other software development company. Crank really stood out from the crowd in terms of software development platforms for user interfaces because their solution really enables our engineering to progress a lot quicker and for things to be modified and changed on a much more rapid pace than with anything else out there. Based on the outcome of this project, Crank and Aptera turned out to be the right fit. And I think moving forward, it's gonna continue on that path as they get into production and delivering that feature-rich experience that the customers are gonna want when they first get in their Aptera. They say the best things come in small packages. But with Aptera, we like to think that the best option for an efficient electric vehicle comes in a package that's just the right size. We designed Aptera to be the optimized shape and dimensions for peak aerodynamics and low drag efficiency. But what dimensions are those exactly? Let's talk numbers. Each Aptera is 172 inches long, 88 inches wide, and 57 inches high. Now, let's put that into context. An Aptera is about the same size as other leading energy-efficient vehicles, yet Aptera's state-of-the-art battery and integrated solar panels can take it four times further than comparable electric vehicles with a similar battery size. Though Aptera has a completely unique design, it's perfectly sized for highway, back road, and city driving. Now let's talk about cargo space. Most comparatively sized vehicles have about 13 to 18 cubic feet of cargo space. Aptera has 25. That's enough space for an entire family set of luggage, around 40 bags of groceries, or, to put it in very 2020 terms, 500 rolls of toilet paper. It's also definitely enough space for your pet or some camping gear, both of which inspired add-on features available for the Design Your Own Aptera. We'll go more into those in another video, but for now, you have an exact idea of the way Aptera will fit into your life. Aptera was designed to be the most efficient solar electric vehicle on the planet. And with this in mind, we are always looking for ways to improve the design to keep the drag as low as possible. In older designs, Aptera mimicked aircraft radiator systems to keep the drag low, but that wasn't enough. Aptera found a way to eliminate the radiators completely. To dissipate heat, Aptera circulates coolant through biologically inspired channels throughout its skin. This allows the vehicle's exterior to serve as a radiator and also allows the cooling system to produce zero drag without the extra weight, cost, and energy of fans. This is just one example of many that Aptera has changed the way we move from one location to the next in a more efficient and sustainable way. Reserve your Aptera today. Hey, just wanted to give everyone an update on our recent track testing. We had a great day out at the Barona drag strips, testing the Aptera for durability and speed and braking and all the fun things that make Aptera the kind of performance vehicle that you'll want to be in. Uh, the main goal of the day was really just to shake these Alpha vehicles out to make sure that they're safe to drive on the roads around San Diego. Uh, we wanted to do aggressive braking, aggressive handling, and obviously some accelerations. We're still tuning our LaFe motors and the control systems that run them, so it was great to be out on the track to be able to get some live data and see how they perform under stress. We got some amazing initial results and even did uh, some drag races. 
And we wanted to see how our lightweight vehicle handled in aggressive braking scenarios. And to be honest, the results were just amazing, as you'd expect from a very light uh, aerodynamic vehicle that has tons of regenerative torque from the in-wheel motors. We also wanted to see how the Eptera would perform under aggressive handling situations. So we ran some basic moose test scenarios where we had some aggressive handling that uh, proved that the Eptera is very well balanced, even though we're just at the beginning of our suspension development. The overall results of our first track day is that the Eptera Alpha units are performing spectacularly. Uh, acceleration, braking, handling, we're all above expectations and we can't wait to spend the next few months with our engineers and vendors to design beta units that are even better. One of the things that really excited me was the handling of the Aptera in this very early alpha stage. Now, the stability is great under high speed stressful situations, the vehicle's very balanced and feels comfortable to drive and we know that by adding a sway bar and tuning the suspension more, things are only going to get better. Our acceleration test went very well. The Aptera is brisk under acceleration and it's pretty exciting to drive. We know that working with our partners in Slovenia at Alafe, the motor tuning will only get better and we'll see acceleration times increase as we bring in our own battery technologies too. Happy Healthy Earth is where the ozone is still perfectly well because there's actually pollution where some plants and animals are dying like the coral reef. With like no gas and nothing that could prevent animals from breathing or humans from breathing. Picking up trash. For people to stop using plastic water bottles. A lot of the animals are now getting hurt by all the plastic that people are using. I think a happy, healthy Earth looks like um, there's like no animals dying and like no plants that are dead already or like no pesticides like sp getting sprayed. And I'd say that there would be way more ice on Earth m more and more penguins, m more polar bears. I just don't really like normal cars and also, normal cars don't really smell good. By the sunlight. By the sun. It gets its power from the sun because the sun, um, because on top of the car, there is some so solar panels that help it get charged by the sun. The sun and the sun. The, they're powered by the sun which creates energy with the electricity in the sun that can power anything. This is a pretty cool idea that they're making a car that's powered by the sun. Yeah, I like that it looks like an airplane. It looks like a flying hover car. In the future, I'd say it looks like a flying hover car because it, because the, the parts that, that, that cover the wheels look like something that, that would hold it hovering. It looks like a really, really cool, like, futuristic shape. Um, it's like, so it's like, and it goes like this, and then it's like that. The top looks like a boat. It looks pretty much like a rocket ship, sort of. I want to be an astronaut when I grow, grow up. I just want to say that you guys are doing a great job helping the Earth. It doesn't use any gas to like get um, powered up and it just gets powered up by the sun that doesn't hurt animals or plants. Aptera is the best. I say Aptera car is the way to go. Uh, what is Aptera? <laughs> I forgot that question. Uh, is it like gas? No, Aptera is the car. They're powered by the sun, which creates energy with the electricity in the sun that can power anything. But not plants or a sandwich. It can't power a sandwich? Yeah. Why not? Because it's not a good adapter. Because I'd say I don't really like my own sandwiches that much. <laughs>